Hi everybody, it's Dr. Yami and welcome to Veggie Fit Kids. I wanted to continue my love for Costco in another video where I show you a few more ideas of the amazing things you can find at Costco. Now, full disclaimer, your Costco may not have the exact products that my Costco has, and even my Costco changes from time to time in what they offer. But I want to give you an idea of what you can find so that you can go to your Costco and have fun exploring all the wonderful products that you can find there. Wanted to start with the fresh food produce section. One of the things I love about my Costco offer organic bananas. Yours might not, but it's a really great price as well. And I buy apples there. They have both conventionally grown and organic apples that I buy for my home and for my office. I found these amazing yellow kiwis recently at Costco. They're so yummy, but it's great because every time I go in there, there might be a different kind of fruit that's in season and I can explore different things. Like this huge pack of grapes. If your kids love grapes, this is a great place to buy grapes. Now when it comes to salads and greens, lots of choices. This is my favorite salad mix. I add it to everything. This is the sweet kale and it's got broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, kale, chicory, and then it has like a little mix of nuts and a dressing. The dressing inside is not vegan or plant-based. I don't usually use the dressing, but I put this on everything. I put it on my beans and rice, in my wraps, all kinds of stuff. It's really crispy, really yummy. You could even steam it and eat it that way. And then they have spring mixed, mixed greens, spinach, all kinds of yummy fresh produce, asparagus when it's in season, green beans. You go in there and it is like a wonderful treasure to explore. If you love potatoes or you're a McDougaler and you believe in getting your starches in, great news for you because they often have multiple types of potatoes. Recently I've been into these little creamer potatoes. These are great to steam up or to put into soups and they have usually huge bags. So these are the russet big old potatoes that last you a really long time. So like I said, go in and explore your fresh produce section, go into the cooler, look at all the beautiful greens and fresh vegetables that they have and also fresh fruits like strawberries and berries that they have. The next section of the store, if you're going in order, is the refrigerated section. The previous video that I did, I showed you some products in there, like the Kirkland hummus that comes in the small containers, which I love, but they also have larger hummus, different brands of hummus, so if you know you're gonna go through a bunch, then you can get that for your family. But the other thing I love are the guacamole containers. Same thing as the hummus. This is a, a different brand. This is Good Foods Group Table Side Chunky Guacamole. But it comes in individual serving size portions. The reason I love this is because you know that guacamole oxidizes. Avocado oxidizes quickly. So if you're not gonna go through one of those big containers quickly, then sometimes you have to throw it out but not with these really small containers. And it's perfect so that you don't overeat too. You can toss this in your lunch bag with your veggie burger, your wrap, or I even put it with my rice and veggies. So this is a great option. But if you want a larger container for parties or whatever, they have the big ones as well. Another thing that we love at my house is this Organic Jack's Fresh Salsa. This is cantina style salsa. My kids love this. We tend to put it on everything. This is stuff that has all come out of my fridge. So, you know, we've been using it cause it's almost halfway done, but this is a great salsa. It's in the refrigerated section where the guacamole and the hummus is. Another cool find are these prepared beets. So these beets have already been cooked and they're just packed in a little bit of the juice. You take them out, uh, you can keep the juice to use in recipes and then they're ready to slice and dice up to put in your salads or other recipes. So that is the refrigerated section. Next is the frozen food section. In the previous video, I showed you guys the Normandy style vegetable blend, which I love. As you can see, I just bought this about less than a week ago and there's only this much left. I really do love this stuff. But another product that I love 
is the broccoli. This comes in four one pound packages on the inside. So this is great to make for your family for dinner at night and you don't have to waste any, it's wonderful. The way that I love to make my frozen veggies is I steam them. So I put it on the pot, the stove, in a steamer basket, and I steam them for between five to seven minutes. They come out perfect and crunchy. I love the organic sweet corn. This stuff is amazing and I put it in everything. And also the organic green peas. I have these for breakfast a lot. Another thing that we recently found that my son loves is the edamame. Now this looks like a gigantic bag, but it comes in 12 nine ounce individual portions. And they are in the pod, so you can steam them and put some salt on them if you want. But this is a great find if you like edamame. Fruit, as I showed you before, frozen blueberries. We put these in our smoothies, in our oatmeal. You can use them all kinds of ways. They're delicious. These mango chunks are so amazing. Lots of other different kinds of fruits that you can discover at Costco. So whatever suits your taste, go to the frozen fruit and vegetable department and see what you like. They do have a veggie burger at my Costco. Hopefully your Costco has it too. But this is the Don Lee Superfoods Burger. So yummy. Great to have in your freezer for that last minute meal or emergency meal. These are not gluten free, but most of the ingredients are whole. It has quinoa, carrots, kale, garlic, almonds. It does have oil, but overall these are a pretty good option to have in your freezer for a backup meal when you really need it at the last minute. I like to thaw them a little bit in the microwave for like 30 to 60 seconds and then I broil them for a couple of minutes to kind of give them that nice crisp. But they do really great on the outdoor grill as well or you can air fry them and see how they turn out. So those are the frozen foods that I love and I hope that you discover some that you love too. Now I wanna show you some products that are shelf stable or dried. First of all, I wanna say that Costco has a variety of dried grains like brown rice and quinoa. I showed you some in the video before and also dried beans like pinto beans and black beans. So scope out your local Costco and see what they offer because for the amount that you get, the prices are phenomenal and it'll save you a lot of money in the long run if you have time to cook those yourself. However, if you do not have time to cook them yourself, there are some convenience options at Costco that are still whole foods and give you more options for convenience and to save time. Two things that I love at Costco are these little brown rice bowls. What's amazing about this is that there's only two ingredients, organic brown rice and water, no salt, no oil, you just pop this in the microwave for 90 seconds and add it to your veggies and your beans. I love this because this is shelf stable. You don't have to cook any rice and it's ready for you whenever you are. So if you didn't have time to batch cook over the weekend, no excuses. This week they had a new one and this is ancient grains. It's quinoa frica. I'm not even sure how to pronounce it. Farro, millet, and amaranth. These are so, so yummy, nice and chewy. And same thing, it just has the grains and water. You just put it in the microwave. You don't even have to add anything to it. Heat it up and add it to your food. A little bit more processed, but still relatively healthy, are these Seeds of Change rice packets. So this one has quinoa and brown rice. They do already have seasonings, salt, and they add oil, but it is very convenient because you just open up the zip top and put it in the microwave for 90 seconds and then you can add it to stuff. This has two servings in it, so it's quite a bit, but it's really yummy. And this week when we went, the boys went with me and they were sampling this one. This is new, Spanish style rice. It's got quinoa, red bell peppers, and corn. They loved it, so they asked me to bring some home. I'm not gonna deny them. Some delicious plant-based whole foods. So plenty of options for convenience. No excuses, guys. The other thing that Costco has is pastas, and they usually have a gluten-free pasta if you're somebody who's gluten sensitive or if you have celiac disease. This week I found this organic ancient grain fusilli. 
It's sorghum and quinoa. I haven't tried it yet, but usually there's an option for you if you're gluten-free, but if not, they also have whole wheat pastas that are available. Very convenient and great prices. And another whole grain that I found is this Quaker Oats Old Fashioned Rolled Oats. This is really heavy. <laughs> there's two 80 ounce packets in here. This is gonna last a long time and it's even cheaper than the bulk bin. So that's why I grabbed it because we eat a lot of oatmeal in my household. So that's just a little taste of all of the things you can find at Costco. As you could see, I showed you mostly whole foods. It is not difficult to eat a whole food plant-based diet. You can make it really simple, especially in the modern day. If you have a Costco or a grocery store that has these things available, you can even do it with convenience. I really hope that this video was helpful and I hope that you run over to your Costco and explore what they have available for you. If you like this video, please give me a like, comment below, and please share it, especially if you think that it would help somebody else. Thank you guys and have a plantastic day.